What's up, YouTube? <laughs> You're gonna wanna start by cutting off the end pieces here, and then all the guts will come out. So first of all, sorry that this video is a little bit random with jumping from location to location. I was driving most of the time and didn't take any footage while traveling. Yeah. Alright. We're heading... <laughs> We're heading on an adventure today. One of my best friends, um, it's her birthday tomorrow and we decided to rent an Airbnb in Euclid and I haven't been diving in Euclid since last September. So we're really looking forward to that. The weather is going to be a bit stormy, I think. Um, there's some wind and some big swell and it's supposed to rain all weekend. Um, but that's what it's about. If you go to Euclid or Tofino in the winter, that's all you want <laughs> to see a proper winter storm. So we're really excited about that. I just hope that the swell is not too big that uh, we can go diving, but I'm pretty sure we will find some like sheltered bay or whatever um, to check out. So yeah, let's go. So we just arrived. It's almost dark already getting there. Um, we're in Euclid now. And gonna check in the Airbnb right now. Our friends are already here. It's pretty sweet. So let me give you the tour. One room, bathroom. How sick is this bathtub? <laughs> Another bedroom. Mm -hmm. This is the master bedroom, obviously for the birthday kid. <laughs> so let's check out the best parts here. Kitchen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, living room. They're still a bit shy, but they get used to it. <laughs> So that's the view. Woo. And the best thing is, I'm on my socks. <laughs> Look at this. It's a sauna. <laughs> oh, yeah. Might be a bit dark. It's already heating up. We're so gonna go in. I can't wait to go into the sauna. And it's gonna be so nice when <laughs> when we come back from free diving or spearfishing tomorrow to just um, jump into the sauna directly. Are so you camera shy, Lena? The, the giggling person here. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> My childhood friend from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> and Jacob. What's up, YouTube? How's it going? <laughs> yeah. It's your boy. That's the confidence. <laughs> Sauna time. <laughs> I don't think it'll do much, but maybe we can yeah, pour it off. Enough. <laughs> she wild. <laughs> it's a birthday girl. <laughs> so we're having a bit of a slow morning. We just uh, went out to a cafe for breakfast, basically. Um, and that was delicious. delicious, yeah. The break. If you haven't been there yet, go there. It's pretty good. And um, we're gonna get ready now for some free diving weather is uh, not really good it's been raining the whole day 
it's a bit windy um but it's not gonna stop us we're gonna go anyways i think more tomorrow's gonna be even worse so today's the day um gotta go free diving today um we just checked out one of the locations or the spots that i've already been to um and it's a bit exposed so there's swell rolling in right there um so we have to go somewhere else i got something in mind um, where we can go um and yeah the guys are just in the sauna um Close the door, hey. <laughs> so they're just in the sauna, um, heating themselves up a little bit before they jump into their wetsuits. Uh, Lina and Jacob, they're really new, we're just taking them with us. They're gonna do some snorkeling and they only have surf wetsuits, so they're probably gonna get cold very quickly. Um, but yeah, we'll see. How's the sauna? Oh, amazing. Beautiful ocean views, fresh out here on the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> I mean, not really. We're in an inlet, but same shit. <laughs> We're just doing some um, identification of species here. A little bit of educating here yeah. going on. Show me the, the very rare the one. The very rare one. If you see this one, you want to make sure you tell me right away because I haven't seen it yet and I want to see it. Okay, we are geared up. Um, and now we're gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm super keen to um, go and jump in here. I've never been to the spot and uh, I've heard really good things about it. It's a bit more of a snorkeler spot. It's not very deep or anything, but we'll see what we will find. I'll bring the spear gun just in case we find like a decent sized fish for dinner. Um, since it's my friend's birthday, I kind of want to have a little seafood feast later on. Maybe we'll get some sea urchins as well, or I don't know. So welcome back underwater. Um, this bay has a sandy bottom um, with some seagrass patches in between. It is fairly shallow all the way, but along the northern and the southern shoreline there's a rocky strip with lots of marine life. The bay is very protected from most of the swell directions and therefore a great option for a stormy winter weekend. This location is known for a big variety of snails and nudies, like the big moon snail and the noble sea lemon. You can also find all kinds of different sea stars, especially the bad stars, um, sun stars and all kinds of anemones. I found this location in Sarah Ellison's guidebook Snorkeling Adventures Around Vancouver Island and the Gulf Islands. Go get yourself a copy of this really handy little guide of some amazing dive sites of the area. Since the bay is fairly shallow, I should have probably grabbed an extra weight so I don't have to fight the buoyancy all the time. Nina and Jacob um, they haven't had any weights. As you can see, they had to fight hard to get down. I'm showing her the green surf anemones here. I saw a few medium-sized greenlings buzzing around, so I loaded my gun. First time for me seeing these big moon snails in the sand. Really weird looking creatures. Jacob really wanted to try a sea cucumber, um, but Lena, she has a slug and snail phobia. And I guess a sea cucumber <laughs> looks and feels a lot like a slug to her. Oh, 
That's what I call stepping out of your comfort zone. You want more? <laughs> I found what looked like an octopus den. Um, I couldn't find octopus though. So. Most octopus have more than one den and if they are not at home, they are probably at one of the other ones or out hunting. Octopus are really difficult to find as they are very elusive. They can change their pattern and color and they are therefore very well camouflaged. Um, nevertheless though, it's really easy to find an octopus den because they bring their food home, they eat all kinds of clams, crabs, snails, and even small fishes. And you're gonna find that laying just in front of the den. We saw a lot of small lingcods in that area too. It's always nice to see healthy lingcod populations. None of the ones we saw were guarding egg masses though. Not sure if that means they were all females or maybe still too young to mate. This is probably the biggest sea lemon I've ever seen. It must have been easily the size of my hand. This is almost all the way outside the bay now, where it got a little bit deeper again, and we also had some current. Current usually means more marine life, and this was definitely the spot where all the greenlings and lingcods were hanging out that day. I really shouldn't have taken this shot. I rushed it as we were at the end of our dive. Lena and Jacob were already back on land. They got cold early because of their closed cell wetsuits. This was a terrible shot and I don't even know how I missed it. I'm not sure if the fish turned around in the right moment or if I just aimed too far to the head of the fish and with a horrible angle. This greenling really teased me good. He gave me a good angle there, but as soon as I got ready to pull the trigger, he took off as if he knew what was about to happen. This sea lemon and the rose anemone next to it really caught my eye. I pretty much gave up after these two missed chances on the greenlings. I didn't want to force it, that usually doesn't end well for me. If I start getting the hunting fever or I'm really stubborn in my head that I want to have a fish for dinner, then I continue to miss or even worse, hurt fish that get away. Some days it just doesn't work out and that's okay because that's all part of the game. My GoPro battery died shortly after this clip and it was time to head back anyway. There was this one big link cut under this rock that Paul found. The biggest one I ever came across, but honestly I'm still not sure if it would have been a legal size, as I could only see the head of it. Lingcords are close to fishing and spearfishing in the winter months, till usually April, and the minimum legal size is 65 centimeters. Keep watching if you'd like to join the birthday party and our first attempt to prepare sea cucumber. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go into the sauna now. <laughs> the sauna. Nice. We're having a party. Yeah. In case you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh god, I have that thing on my head. How was the visibility? The visibility was really good actually. Um, I think, clear water. I think for west coast of Vancouver Island it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah. And what did we see? 
We saw lots, lots, <laughs> a lot of sea stars, and then、um, some lingcods.、Mm-hmm. We saw sun stars. They were actually baby ones. They were really、mm-hmm. small. They usually small. get very, very big. And then we saw some nudie pranks, like the yellow ones, and they were really big nud-、uh, yellow ones. Scallops. Scallops. Rock scallops. Rocks. Yeah, we saw rock scallops. Yeah, the sea cucumbers. We saw a few sea urchin, not many though. All the kelp、that. forest was already gone. That was and about greenlings. it. Greenlings. Greenlings. Yeah, not many, but a few. All in all, really、successful、nice dive、day. location. Successful、oh, yeah. day. Not、Definitely. too cold either. Yeah, they only had the surf wetsuit. They actually lasted very long in the water.、Yeah. I didn't look at my dive watch, but it must have been somewhere close to an hour. Good conditions. Good conditions, good. especially for the first time free day. Yeah, that's fun. You want to do it again? Yes. Nice.、Definitely. Apparently, sea cucumbers taste really sweet. We're、yeah. cooking them right now, and then we、yeah. can report.、After. The guys are cooking them. We're being lazy.、Little. It's her birthday, and I'm. It's my birthday, and I'm assisting. Yeah, <laughs> and and they're a little gross. I'm trying to find excuses. That's all. So we're just cleaning the sea cucumber that we got today. That knife is dull. <laughs> yeah, they both are. <laughs> so you're gonna want to start by cutting off the end pieces here, and then all the guts will come out.、Mm-hmm. Once you do that, cut it down the middle. Then you get this product, and then that right there is the meat. You then、mm-hmm. scrape off and eat. Yeah. I'll give yeah, you the whole bat. It's a clean end up, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here are the oops ingredients. We got sea cucumber. Thinly sliced, more or less. <laughs> some、uh, freshly chopped garlic, some lemon, and a big chunk of butter. And that's gonna go into the pan now. <laughs> This is thing has light. Nice. Thank you. I think they turn white when they're done, right? I'm not sure. Some of them are white already, yeah. It's almost more garlic than the other. Right? <laughs> we're gonna be taking chunks of garlic out of there. Good thing is we are not planning to go anywhere today. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is three cucumbers, three cucumbers. It's really not much. Look at it. It's more like an appetizer. <laughs> For one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put some lemon on there now.、Mm-hmm. Let it have some root. And there you have it. <laughs> That's it, guys. All right. Cool. There's lots of garlic in there, in case you're wondering. Wow. So it smells it like it smells like rubber. <laughs> it does. Wow! Good thing you didn't use all those lemons. Yeah. I like it. That's not what I expected, but it's pretty good. I think it's really、actually. good. It does taste like rubber too. I'm not a huge fan, <laughs> but maybe like deep fried. Mm-hmm. That might be better. It's a bit like octopus, but way、mm-hmm. more sweet. Mm-hmm. It's not as chewy as I thought. It's a little sour too, but it's yeah, lemon juice. Lemon. Cooked yeah. like calamari, I think would be yeah, delicious. <laughs> So、nice. I have to say, it's way better than sea urchin,、oh. but I'm not a huge fan still. So since we were not so successful with harvesting today, we made homemade pizza. <laughs> so. Um, we just got back、um, from Yuki. It's been a really nice weekend.、Um, super happy we were able to do that、uh, and celebrate my friend's birthday.、Um, yeah, the free diving was a lot of fun yesterday.、Um, sorry for not filming anything today of、um, what we did or like adventure. Sometimes it's just nice to 
leave the camera behind and just enjoy the moment right so um, that's kind of what happened today <laughs> yeah thank you everybody again for like watching and tuning in and um, I really appreciate the support um, it's it's awesome to see how how many people like these videos and I'm always happy um, to rewatch them as well because they bring up so many good memories and um, yeah I'm still having a lot of fun doing and um, editing these videos and um, I'm really looking forward to new adventures in the future um, where I can bring you along so yeah stay tuned for more see you on the next one